etching was for me what uh, Rembrandt did, black and white and like a drawing and uh, somehow uh, only mar only drawing marks, dry point. That was etching, what etching meant to me, but uh, without colors. I had in my mind to do something what I do on my paintings, of course, but I was, I doubted if this is possible or not. But then I suddenly learned it is possible and there are <laughs> colors and so I I really was happy and I had I was a relief of course I had to to approach in a different way if I would be with my paintings it's it's different so I had to learn somehow how to uh, do a brush stroke that it looks like a brush stroke uh, in the in terms of etching and uh, I went also to a shop to get some different tools and s somehow it's similar to what I do at home because I'm always looking for tools, how to manage uh, the paint. And here I had to manage somehow different uh, fluidities. Somehow I, my paintings, I always like to have very heterogeneous paintings that means with different elements and also with the empty space and the space which I really fill up with color so and heterogeneous means also different gesture or different different parts on a plate so that was my approach which I do in my studio as well and so I try to do it here. For instance in this uh, one form is here, one form is up there but they should somehow come together and they also should um, not drop down. They should keep themselves up so the color has to do this and the movement that the viewer has the impression they are somehow strong to to keep up in the air for instance but the color and the gesture will give at the end um, somehow um, it's like an embodiment of energy it's a process a long ongoing process to find my own visual language and I'm still in the process right now at Crown Point Press. <laughs>